Ciao Oliver, iniziamo questa intervista di presentazione con la prima domanda. Hai giocato finora quattro partite da quando sei arrivato al Verona. Com'è stato l'impatto con la Serie A? Oltretutto è la prima volta per te questa in Italia. First of all, I'm happy that the mister trust me to to put me into games this this early after my arrival. Um, and even though I've uh, come on late into the games, my impact have been has been to to help the team achieve the the result that we needed in in these games. So so far I'm I'm happy and ready to to push even more. Oliver, uno dei tuoi connazionali in passato ha fatto molto bene qui. Conoscevi già l'Elas Verona, magari grazie a Elker? Yeah, of course it it goes without saying his uh, his incredible season here with the with the championship uh, when Verona became champions here. Um so yeah, I knew about Verona already before and um obviously he's a he's a legend in, in Denmark as well. Che tipo di centrocampista sei? Dove preferisci giocare? I see myself as a as a number 6. So my my main strength lies in in the defensive play. Uh, but I'm also able to to cover other positions. It depends what the mister wants uh, to to bring during the game, but uh, yeah, I would say I'm I'm number 6 being the protector in front of the defensive uh, players and being the the link to the to the our offensive players. Come lavorare con Mr. Zaffaroni e il suo staff a Peschiera? I've been uh, very pleased to to work with the with the mister and the rest of the staff so far. Uh, they have uh, good tactical exercises as well as um, the general play how we should how we should um, be physically what level we need to be on physically uh, and they work very much in in details in the in the tactical play in every aspect of the of the game so so far I'm very happy. Com'è il feeling con i tuoi compagni di reparto? Yeah, it's a good feeling. Now I've only been here a bit longer than a month, but they are great footballers as well as uh, as uh, humans. So we try to to improve stuff on the pitch, uh, working together, and obviously we also try to push each other because we need that at the moment to to bring out the best in uh, in ourselves. Per la Verona, questo è un momento molto importante della stagione. Puoi raccontarci come lo state vivendo tu e i tuoi compagni? Uh, yeah, I think from this moment we need to put aside our our personal ambitions and uh, focus on on a on a greater uh, purpose and that is to save Verona now this season. Um, and we are we're trying our best and pushing every every game possible. And now during this time of the season we we don't have any any room for for silly games in terms of bad attitude, uh, bad energy or, or basic stuff like that. We need to we need to know that we have a responsibility to to bring to bring results now. Uh, we are we're in a position where we can rely on other teams and we need to to bring uh, points. So we are we are all focused on that and motivated. Ogni partita per noi dovrà essere una lotta e hai fatto esperienza di ciò sul campo nei match giocati contro la Salernitana e domenica scorsa contro lo Spezia. Come ti sei trovato in queste situazioni? Um, it's um I'm privileged to to be in a position where we can uh, save Verona, uh, Hellas Verona. It's a, it's a, it's an honor to do to be honest and um, i mean, pressure is a good thing and we have pressure at the moment, but we need to be able to, to handle that. Um, so I find the, the situation and uh, I turn it to something positive that we, that we need to bring out results, not only for, for ourselves and the club, but for, for all the people that, that follow the club, uh, our great fans. And um, we can't, we can't um, yeah, just uh, play on average level. We need to bring out the best in ourselves. And, and don't uh, become too uh, afraid of the pressure. Mr. Zaffaroni dice che tutti dovranno farsi trovare pronti, perché da qui alla fine della stagione ci sarà bisogno appunto del contributo di tutti. Yeah, of course we are we are a big squad. Uh, obviously only 11 11 uh, players are starting, but uh, during this these intensive games we we are going to need everybody. It's uh, it's obvious and uh, we just need to be ready to to put as much as uh, the, the required effort from, from the mister uh, every game, every player of us. Che tipo di partita ti aspetti domenica contro il Monza? 
Um, it's a very crucial game for the club. Um, of course, we will have our moments and so will Monza, but we need to show that we want it just a little bit more than they do, um, so we can bring a result. We never start a game with the intention of, uh, intention of just bringing one point. We need to aim for three points. Uh, but during the game, obviously, it can be there can be difficult times. But we need to to be ready to to stand against uh, stand against that uh, that pressure from Monza and um, bring a good result to the club. Come giocare al Bentegodi? Ti ha sorpreso la passione dei nostri tifosi? I wouldn't say if it if it has uh, surprised me, but I've been uh, very lucky to to experience it now. Although it's only been a few times, I can feel that this is uh, almost like a uh, a player number 12 uh, in the games and for sure we will need this in the, the end of the season because if we have our, our fans in, uh, in our backs we can, we can bring for sure uh, a couple more points um, than if we, they weren't there. So it's, uh, it's uh, crucial that we have the support to, to bring the good results now. In questo momento particolare loro vi spingono a dare il meglio di voi stessi e forse anche qualcosa in più. For sure, it's uh, like I said before, they can, they act like a, a, a man number 12 on the pitch and uh, they can give us this small uh, margin to, to win the games or to, to get a late equalizer. So we need to, we need to take advantage of that and um, also pay back the, their good effort by bringing good results and showing that we are willing to, to give everything and a bit more on the pitch.